Hey guys, it's 10.20 a.m. on Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. Happy birthday, Mr. Phil Rudd from ACDC. I don't exactly know how old you are today. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter, but happy birthday to you. Um, so, I'm doing my makeup, and I'm using everything MAC but the eyeliner, because I don't own a MAC eyeliner, MAC eyeliner, and uh, you think I'd change that right so I'm actually gonna look into them online and see how much one costs so yeah okay so getting started I used the MAC strobe cream here I love this product um, I loved it so much when I had it I was pissed when I ran out but I couldn't find it anywhere around here I got the 24 hour smooth wear concealer on MAC Studio Fix and it's in shade NW20 it's my natural shade, and uh, I'm just putting it in with the foundation, and sorry, the makeup brushes. And the foundation I'm going to use is Max Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. Um, this is the shade four and a half, in four and a half, in four point five, obviously. So yeah. We're going to be applying it with a Kat Von D brush. I know that's not weird, but in my mind, I think to say those things, like, or then I think out loud, why is it weird? Like, it's just a foundation brush. This is my newest one, and I actually really like it, because you can do both motions with it, circular motions. But I have my older one still, and I've got my first MAC one as well. The flat MAC one, I can't, I don't like those kind of brushes, but I ain't getting rid of it because it says MAC on it. Okay, so this looks like a little bit, right? But Max makeup goes a long way. So we're going to see if I need any for my forehead. And this is an older foundation. This is from 2019. I remember when I got this, December of 2019. So it's about 2019, 2020. So it probably does. I probably do need to get a new bottle, but I don't have the money for it because Mac is very expensive. But I love their products. I use their lipsticks on the daily, like, I buy their lipsticks from TJ Maxx, that's how much I love their lipsticks. Every time they have them, even if they're not a color I would use on the daily, I buy them. Yeah, I can tell this foundation's out of date a little bit, because uh, it's not wanting to spread very well. But we will be fine. I can't believe I got a blemish forming by my mouth. Of all the places. you think I'd be able to handle that, but I can't get anything to go with it. I know it's gross to talk about, but it's even grosser to look at. So my best option is just to keep my face clean, cover it up well. At least that's not as noticeable. And, uh... wait a few days and then try to do something with it. I know that's gross to talk about, but there are lots of worse things on here than just that. Let's see how long this takes me to blend out. I might need a little more foundation on this side. But let me blend out the rest of my face real quick. No, it's actually turning out okay. Good. It's good. Do my forehead next, because this is like the next biggest area, obviously. My nose will be fine, because it's going to be covered with glasses. It always is, but I always add a little bit to it so that it's not uneven. I mean, so it's uneven, I mean. I'm sorry, so it's even, you know what I mean?
Okay, maybe I don't need to pound it a little bit more after all. Yes, I'm aware I need to wax my eyebrows. I have my own waxing kit, but I'm, like, petrified that I'm going to rip them off. Like, I'm not afraid of anything, but that, for some reason, scares me because, you know, I look ridiculous now with them being bushy. I would look even more ridiculous without them. Yesterday, it has been seven weeks since I had my right ear pierced, so I can take this earring out, but this one is like a week newer than the other one, so I promised myself I would not do it until both of them can come out. The only thing I'm going to do is clean them like with uh, rubbing alcohol and um, hold on a minute and their cleaning solution that I got with it. Of course, I got a loose hair trying to fuck me over with my own makeup look. There we go. Hopefully it's out of the way. Okay, so... Wrong brush. I need to grab my... Um, blush brush here. I do my blush real quick. We are going to be doing Max. Sorry, I didn't want to hit you guys. Rosy does it. Yeah, that's the color of it. I've only used this one time, and I got this at uh, TJ Maxx, brand spanking new. Look how pretty that is. Like, I hope I can get my cheeks to be even like this, because I really don't want to put on highlighter today. As hot as it's going to be, it's going to be 84 degrees outside today in my area. Fuck. What is wrong with me? I'm from the south, and I'm saying that's hot. I cannot wait to go home. Like, I really can't. I know it's going to be a while, but I am waiting for that fucking day to get here. Like, that day that my mom comes up here and says, grab your shit, we're going home. Because she plans on doing it, but she said, uh, there's been so many things stop me. Her boss, COVID-19, lack of money, people becoming fucking idiots over stupid matters that shouldn't even be on their minds right now. But yeah. I'm also hoping that my step family and I get that new house, but we went and looked at it. It's a nice house. It's just is that the one they want? No, it's probably not, because uh, eventually they're going to have all that room with just themselves. So I said, wait a minute, if I'm going to be gone in a few years, which I plan to be if my mom doesn't come get me. Why do you guys need a different house, to be honest? I mean, 
The only thing that sucks about this one is that there's not a second shower in the house, at least. Which, we could literally change that for, like, $300. Plus the maintenance fee to put it in, I know. That's probably a little over, it's probably about $500. In total, about $800, we could change that. I know you guys are thinking, you're talking about money like it grows on trees. Well, in technical terms, money is made from paper. So technically it does grow on trees, but it's not what I meant. I know what you're going to say, a special kind of paper. Well, all papers grow on trees. They're called leaves. No, I don't like leaves. When I was a kid, I would tell you the whole story, but I don't want to ruin somebody's name. So I'm not going to. When I was a kid, somebody in my family would torment me with them. That's why I don't like them. It's not my mom either. My mom tried to get me over that fear for years. And I will admit, it is a fear. It has a name, but I never can remember it. Hey Google, what is the name of the fear of leaves? Simophobia. I said leaves. Hey Google, what is the name of the fear of leaves? Philophobia. But yeah. I will not remember that in five minutes. Philophobia, philophobia, philophobia. Philophobia, philophobia, philophobia. No matter how many times I tell myself what it's called, I will never remember it. Like, it's, I just remember it's a phobia. It's philophobia. I don't even know how you spell that, to be honest. I'm just trying to make sure they're even. But it's not, like, so bad that I can't walk on them or anything like that, because I do every day. It's just I don't like picking them up, and I don't like them touching my bare skin. So, when I'm outside, I try to wear socks. Especially during fall. You will not catch me outside hardly at all during fall. Unless I can run from my uh, car to the house instantly. And the thing is, my family has to live by a bunch of trees. Knowing full damn good and well that I hate the trees. And I'm allowed to admit what I don't like on YouTube. And I don't want them to be, like, chopped down or anything. I would just rather move into a place that has no trees. That's why I was hoping we would make the move, because there are trees around that house, but at the same time, it's, like, a distance away. Right, so I'm using the MAC Bear Study paint pod here. Oh my god, this one's so old. This stuff is really good eyeshadow primer. Or really pretty as an eyeshadow alone, but I'm going to use it as a primer today. Because I feel like doing a eyeshadow primer. But it's quite chalky, because, uh, once again, it's old. There we go. Got it a little bit better.
I admitted something very, very secret to you guys, like, on here. Something that I probably should not have admitted, but that is literally not the worst thing in the whole wide world on here, like, at all. And that fear actually runs in the family. My, some of my cousins from the Netherlands have it. My nephew probably has it, and he's only two. Because when he touched a fake leaf, he screamed. Like, I can handle fake leaves. I used to be petrified of those. I hated fake leaves. That's why there's no plants in my room. I mean, I, I mean, I just don't want them in my sight, you know? I mean, why would I want that in my sight if I don't like it? If it's painted like uh, that clock I have up there that was like the one I had in South Carolina as a kid, that's a different story, but why would I have something in here that I wouldn't want, you know, or wouldn't like to look at? Yet I'm a beach person. It doesn't make any sense. I can handle different size of leaves. Like, if they're small, I can handle them, but if they are normal sized, no. Yeah. If they are palm tree leaves, I can handle them. You know, I know they're literally the same thing about. Right? Oh, shit. I keep forgetting my legs are not. Okay, look. Let me put it this way. My legs are not that close together, but I am wearing shorts. Right, so I'm going to be using this black color here. I'll show you. And... Okay, this black color, this brown color, and this pink color. The only one in the whole damn palette. I do not... I cannot believe how old this eyeshadow is. Yeah, admitting that on the internet is probably not something I should have done, but, you know, you guys are here to get to know me instead of, uh, the fake me. And I'm not one of those people that's going to put on a two-faced act to, uh, be recognized. I'm not making this up at all. Like, if I could remember to video myself while something is happening outside, I would show you. But I just, I don't feel like it. I feel like that would be more embarrassing than me telling you. Because, uh, I'm less, put, let me put it this way, I'm less scared of a tornado than I am of a leaf. I don't get it. It must be a gene that runs in the family, and I'm not even kidding when I say that. Like, there's literally other people in my family who don't like them, too. On the same level that I don't. Here's what I don't get. They're from the greenest country, well, one of the greenest countries on Earth. Alright, so, now I'm going to go in with the brown color in the crease. I don't think I've ever used that brown color. It looks like a new one, like one I've never used, obviously. I have to cake that black on because it's uh, an older one. I actually wonder if they still carry this palette, like still make it. Or if I can find it new somewhere so I can buy it again. Because I like this palette a lot. This is about the only thing that I would probably buy from MAC. Other than a new foundation. Hell, I'd buy everything if I could. 
I love Mac. It feels like it's getting hot in here again, like that my dad turned off the air conditioner again, like a dick. He did that last night, and I thought I was going to have a fucking heat stroke, and I woke up with my chest hurting so bad I was ready to scream. Thankfully, I'm okay. I did not get checked out, I probably should have, but it's too late, I'm not going to the doctor. I hate going to the doctor. I will go check the air conditioner here in a minute. It's going to be 80 degrees outside the rest of this week. Do you really think that we're going to sit in the heat? Like, this house literally sits right in front of the sun when it gets sunny out. Especially this room. I was stupid for taking this room. I could have taken the back room or any other bedroom in the house and it would have been much cooler. The only downside is I would have to shed a lot of shit to get rid of that, to be able to take that stuff. I'm getting my mascara brush out here. I'm going to do my eyeliner real quick. It's the Physician's Formula Eye Definer Eyeliner Pencil Ultra Black. I don't think it's waterproof, though. That's the one thing that sucks about it. But I did like this one a lot right here. It rolls on pretty good and all those things. I'm going to do this. I need to put some eye drops on my eyes.
Alright, so. Now I got to uh, set my face in place, and I'm using a Mac Fix Plus for that. I'm about out of this too. All right, here we go. This is literally what I use. I just leave it in here because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Alright, so I'm going to put this up here. I like this new setup a lot better because it's um, easier for me to access things. Now I'm going to use the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. This is two years old and still going strong, knock on wood. Because I have uh, hardly used this mascara, but I think a handful of times. And I'm starting to fall in love with it. I'm starting to see why a lot of people like it. I also like the design on it right here. This is really cool. This is like a chest piece right here. That's really cute. I mean, at least I think. I've never actually played chess before. Okay, so, you all know how to apply mascara, and if you don't, well, I can try to turn this way, but I'm also trying to be comfortable because I've been sitting here for a while. Look at this wand right here. I know you can't really see it very well, so I put it by my cheek. Okay. Let's do this side first, because my right eye is definitely worse than my left eye. And for once, I want this side to turn out actually good. So let's see if I can get them to turn out the same.
Okay, so now we're going to take a makeup wipe and um, wipe off this mascara tube, as you see right here. It's got some dirt on it. Dirt mascara, same. My dad says the same shit. I say, um, clearly you don't know anything about makeup. Like, you've never been married before. He says, I know it's expensive as shit, and I said, well, it may be true, but, you know, some girls enjoy putting it on, despite what people say, including their stepdads or their dads. I look at it like, you know what, until it becomes his, his body, it's not up to him. So it will never be up to him what I put on my face. Especially since I pay for it anyways. I pay $25 a month for my boxy charm. My sister pays for hers. My mom pays for hers. In total, 75 whopping bucks a month out of the God knows about how much we make all together. I actually could not tell you. My sister makes quite a bit of money. My mom... Works for the VA now. So I really, I couldn't tell you there either. But I just know it's not a uh, cheap amount. Oh shit, that got in my hand. There we go. I'll take the same wipe. And wipe off my lips. Okay. Now I don't need uh, I don't need this on for this part right here. Take this off. I have to go do some laundry. Cause so I got a couple of things really dirty that will stain if I don't. I need to get a new chair. But that ain't gonna happen for a while because uh, this one ain't broke yet. And I'm just putting everything back because uh, I never do that with Mac or Fenty. Hardly. Alright, so I'm going to put this stuff back in here, and I'm also going to pick out a lipstick while I'm in here, because, you know, that's where I keep them all. All my favorite ones, anyway. By Mac. I think I'm going to go with Russian Red because it matches my shirt literally. Or a color I haven't worn in a while. Called Chili. Chili? Chili. Sorry. Chili. Um, I got Russian Red, Snob, Velvet Teddy, um... Fanfare. Fanfare is a very pretty color, but it doesn't suit today's look. I got Bated Breath.
And I got a mini version of Chili. But I also have another mini version, so technically I have a full size now. Let's take a look here and compare the colors. This is really cute. I thought, man, that's really tiny when I saw that. I thought that wasn't really Mac when I seen it, and then I looked at it and I was like, oh yeah, that's Mac. I don't even care if it's a knockoff. I like Mac. Okay. Oh, shit. I forgot to put the uh, blush back in here. Let me do that real quick. I do not want this lost. My other blushes are in here as well from Mac. I wonder if Mac has any highlighters that I would like. Because I've actually never seen their highlighters, I don't think. But I would love to get one or two. Maybe one right now because I can't afford two. It's my leftover birthday money, so yeah. I'm going to put this back over here. If I can get it to fit. Come on, baby, fit. There we go. That'll work right there. And this goes back into here. Alright, well for now, it'll be fine. Alright, so we're gonna put on some Pepsi flavored lip gloss or chapstick because or Fizzlers, I thought that was Pepsi, same thing. Because I do need some chapstick on and then I'll be done. How do I put this on? Okay. And I do literally have a uh, spare chili up here for real. It's in my uh, spare lip gloss compartment. I think I've opened it to look at it and see if it's got any damage to it, so I may as well do that real quick. I'm glad I caught that. That's so cute how tiny it is. It's about the same height as my pinky, see? Okay, there's no damage to it, so I'm going to put this back in the box so I know that it's the new one. And I paid four ninety nine for it from PJ Maxx. I love going to TJ Maxx sometimes, but only when I have money. You know, it kind of sucks to go there and see stuff you want, but not be able to afford it. Alright, so we're going to put this one on. But I got a while to use this one, because I don't use lipstick a whole lot as it is. So here. This is a matte lipstick, so it will stay in place for a while at least, even while I'm drinking and eating. I put Max lipsticks to the test on several occasions, and I love them.
Alright, I'm done. All I gotta do is put this up. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm officially done. And it is... Let's see what time it is. That's my mirror. I'm putting it back down here. I have my other one still. My, uh, gray one right here. I just keep forgetting to put it over here. But now that I did, where the hell am I going to put it? I guess down here in the you know, polishing will be fine. I really got to get a bigger vanity. Anyway, it's currently 11.02 p.m. Anyways, peace. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, this is the finished look. I think it turned out okay. Maybe I went a little dark, some dark on the lips, but that's okay. Alright. Peace. Bye.